Sure, let's move and we will see some of them, okay, Alexi? Uh, Anatoly, excuse me, okay. So we have here gerunds or infinitives. Now, this is something that can be a little difficult at times. What do we use? Do we use a gerund or do we use an infinitive, right? So, okay. So, let's have a look at this. All right, so we have here the basic difference between both of them is that we use a gerund that suggests that you're referring to real activities or experiences. So, it is very important to know that in gerunds, when we use gerunds, we use them for real activities or experiences, okay? And an infinitive suggests that you are talking about potential or possible activities or experiences. So the main thing that you need to know about a gerund and infinitive is this, okay? With a gerund, real, right? With real things and infinitive with possible things. So that's how you can remember it, right? So we have gerund with real, okay, real things, and um, infinitive, okay, with possible things. Okay, so this is how we, so I like cooking. I do it every day. I like to cook. I will cook if I had time. That is wonderful. Exactly, Irina. Wow, what a wonderful uh, example you gave. Exactly. So, I like cooking. It's something that you do every day. Perfect example. I like to cook. You do like to cook, but you, you wish you had more time for it. Exactly. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. Let's try to find more examples like these. Okay? Try to find more examples so that you can all understand the use of the gerund and the infinitive. Great example. Please try to find um, something similar to what Irina did. Okay, one okay, uh, verb, use the same verb as a gerund and as an infinitive. Okay, my dog likes swimming. My dog likes to swim. Likes to swim today. Okay. Okay, my dog likes to swim. My dog likes to swim today. Okay, yes, definitely. Um, okay. Uh, possibly, right? Though you're trying to say that he possibly likes to swim today. Right? That's what you want to say, right, um, Sergey? Okay, I believe he begins writing an article. He begins to write it. Is there any <laughs> is there any difference, Oksana asks? Yes. Okay, when we say, okay, let's see. He will do, one moment, Oksana, I will get back to you for one. I just want to see a few more examples. He will do jogging every day. He would like to jog. He would like it, but it is un certain yeah he would okay he will he will do jogging 
every day. He would like to jog. He would like to jog means that he would like to do it, but it's, you know, it's not certain that he will be able to, right? Exactly. But it is uncertain, right? We say uncertain. I finished reading a book. Okay, yes, I finished reading a book. This is something real, refers to something real and completed, a completed action. Okay. So, yes, Sergey, right? That's what you mean, that it is possible that he would like to swim today. Yes, okay, that's, that's, that's okay. I like reading this book. I like to read um, in free time. Okay, I like to read in free time. That's good, Sophia, yes. I like reading this book. This is something that refers to a real. And I like to read in free time whenever it is possible. You like to read, exactly. Whenever that is possible, you, you like to do it. Good, exactly, okay. Now, Oksana, I'm going back to you. He begins writing an article. He begins to write it. Okay, he begins writing an article. He begins writing an article. He begins to write an article. Yes, he begins to write an article, but it is possible that he will finish it, that he will continue to do it or not. It is not certain that he will continue. In this case, though, he begins writing an article. It is a real uh, activity, a real experience, which is actually happening. But he begins to write it means, yes, he's going to write it, but it's not certain if he is going to complete it or not. You see, that's the difference, Oksana. Okay? That's the difference here. Do you understand? The best thing for me is sleeping. I often want to sleep, yes, which it's not possible to sleep sometimes often, but you often want to sleep. Good. I like traveling to work on foot. I, I love to travel. Uh, I love to travel in general. It's not possible to do it every time, but yes, it is something that, but this one is a real action, right? I like, it is a real activity. I like traveling to work on foot. Very good. I would go to different countries. I would go to different countries, right? I-E-S, every three months without the E, without the E, Lina. Okay? Okay, you're welcome, Oksana. You understand it, yes, Oksana? Please let me know if you, you did understand what I told you, everyone. Yes, please let me know if you understand everything. I would like for you to tell me.